hello welcome back to my channel so for today's video we will be doing a uh almost full face i think a full face of wet and wild makeup with some new and some a little bit older makeup uh from wet and wild okay so i did i don't have anything for eyebrows so i just did my eyebrows with the la girl pomade so let's go on with the eyes okay so i thought i didn't have any eye primer but i do i have this um photo focus eyeshadow primer so this is how the primer looks i think this one is still available maybe change the pack packaging because this came with um with the photo focus line Okay, so this is the palette that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Wet n Wild color icon. Um, I think this one is called... Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Like, the name came out with the little sticker, but um, when I took it off, the name came out also. So, this is how this one looks like. I think it's called something like Sunshine or something. So, this is how the palette looks like. I, I have used this, like, um, a couple of times. Maybe, like, three or four times. I do have more. I do enjoy the uh, the Wet n Wild formula. I do have um, a couple of palettes from them, and um, yeah. So, but I decided that I wanted to get the yellow one because um, like the one the other ones were a little were colors that I, I already had. So let's go on with this one. I do want to do uh with the greens so uh, i do have some wet and wild brushes this one's i found them at the dollar tree oh this palette was i think 4.99 at walmart it has different prices on the website i think it's like 5.99 so i'm just gonna start with this shade right here For me, I don't think it matters if it has a, a mirror or not because I always use like a handheld mirror. Okay, now we're gonna go with this um, shade right here, this um, like mustardy shade. We're gonna put it on our crease. We're gonna do a simple look today because I think I'm just gonna, I've been doing, right now it's at like about 2 p.m. I've just been doing some chores I think I'm gonna do laundry today. It's Saturday, but we have to like get the best use of the day as possible. Okay, hopefully the lighting is okay. So this is how this shade looks right here. So it is a little uh, powdery, which I don't mind. I feel like before I used to be really careful with my eyeshadows and like I almost didn't want to use them up, but now I'm like, that's what they're like, that's what I got them for, right? So yeah, so now we're going to go with the darker brown. We're going to put it right here. My baby's waking up. I'm gonna have to go get her. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this screen with my finger. So this is how this one looks like. I'm also gonna grab some of this um, lighter green right here. So this is how this one looks like. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner, like inner half. Okay, so that's how the eyes are looking. And we're gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, I'm gonna be using this matte, uh, matte primer from the photo focus line also i feel like they i feel like they have this primer i mean this products but just different names
Mm, I have a little too much. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the uh, Bare Focus Fair Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Um, this is supposed to be a tinted skin veil. How it has hyaluronic acid, uh, squalene is oil free, and this is a sheer to medium coverage. And I got the shade tan medium deep. So um, yeah. So I was gonna originally order this from Ulta, but then like for some reason I didn't put an order. And thank goodness I didn't. Like even though it's not that expensive, um, still like it's a waste of money. You get the wrong shade, right? So I went to Ulta like myself, and then I I got it there. And the one that I was gonna originally order was gonna be like um, two shades lighter. It was like way too light. So, um, but this is supposed to be just like a, I guess like more of like a BB cream, I guess. Not like really full full coverage, but um yeah so so i'm just gonna be using this um bh cosmetics brush right now everybody's coming out with their tinted um i guess foundations so it doesn't have a set which is good because um because that foundation, like the one, I guess uh, it was like, it got really popular from them. It has like a really strong smell, which is, um, I used to think, which is this one right here. I still use this one also. I have like three shades because I bought like two. I mean one and then my sister bought like two because she couldn't find her shade. But then at the end, she didn't even like it, so she just gave them to me. So I have like three shades. Okay, so so this is how it looks. I think it was a pretty it's a pretty good um match. Yeah, it, and it is pretty light. You can still see my um my skin, I guess, um under it, which is okay. Well, for concealer, we're gonna be using the Inc Incognito uh, Mega Last. This one I have it in the shade Medium Neutral. This one does have a, like a smell, but it's not bad. It smells like roses. So I do use this one mostly to highlight, not really to conceal. I feel like I don't have um, like dark, really dark um, under eyes, in my opinion. I don't think I have them. So I just use them. I use concealer mostly to um, highlight. So it did get like, um, I, have, I guess I have like a dry patch right there because it's not blending. yeah yeah right here is the only place that kind of stayed um i don't know it looks weird yeah it's not it's not blending it's just staying like that for powder i do have the only powder that i have is a mega um, i mean the photo focus press powder press powder in um tan and beige so i'm just gonna use this because i do have oily skin so i'm just gonna use this lightly all over the face with the same brush so there you go um uh, so for bronzer i only have this one the wet and wild um uh, mega glow contouring um palette so i'm gonna be using the one in caramel toffee this one i'm not sure if it's still available or not but i think it is so i'm just gonna be using that it's a little orange maybe i should have mixed them So 
So another like funny thing, well not funny, but like weird thing is I don't have any, a lot of um, Wet n Wild blushes. This is the only blush that I have and it's like an old packaging. This is the Paralyse in Pink and this is how this one looks like. Like I said, it's like an old packaging. So I'm just gonna be using this off brush. So this one does have a little um, shimmer already. So I do have a, a, a few um, um, highlighters. So I have the Hustle and Glow Loose Highlighter. I have like old, old uh, Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter, but they're still available on the website, I think. So this, hot, this one is beautiful. It looks like a little, I have three of this. Well, not the same ones, but three shades. And then I have the gold bar, bar. So this is how this one looks like. I think I'm gonna use um, this one right here, which is the boozy brunch. I'm gonna use this AOA brush. I don't know why I put it here if I'm always take it off with the when I'm putting lipstick. Okay, so my eyes are looking a little naked. So we're gonna try this one, the big pop-up mascara. I got this in black is black. So it doesn't have much weight. I love how it has a little crown right here and it says big pop-up right there. And it's like, like this thing is a little raised, so you can feel it when you take it out. So this is how the brush looks like. It's huge. It has like a like a little like skinny side like in the middle. So let's try it. This is how my eyelashes look. Okay, so there is one coat. Okay, so there's two coats on this one and only one coat on this one. Okay, so there's two coats on the top. I mean, yeah, on the top lashes and one coat on the bottom lashes. And I think I, they look pretty good. They look big. Okay, so for lips, I do have a little, uh, a few options. The most things I have from What I'm Wow are lipsticks. I have like a few of the chubby sticks. I have uh, this one right here, which is the Mega Cushion. This is also like a little old. I also have a few of the Mega Last liquid uh, lipsticks. And then I have two of this, but I couldn't find the other one um, of the skinny ones. Perfect Pout. But this one is more like a pink, so I don't think it's going to look that good. So I have a lot of this one's right here which because they are like extremely like extremely affordable and they have like a like a variety of shades but and I, then they changed the package packaging to this one right here but they're still really really great i think i'm gonna use like a combination of this one and this one right here so this one is the, like in the old packaging, bear it, bear it all. So I'm gonna use that. I, have, I do have a lip balm, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay, so there is bear it all, so which is a little, um, a little light for my skin tone. So I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna top it with um, Mocha Licious. Okay, so there you have um, Wokalicious. They're matte, but um, they're like really comfortable on the lips. So we're gonna finish it off with some setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild, of course. Uh, Photo Focus um, setting spray. I thought it had another name, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna spray this. 
I usually um, use, if I use my uh, blender, I usually press it with my blender, but now since I'm using the sponge, I mean the brush, I'm just gonna dab it with the sponge. Okay, so here's the finished look. Here is the eyes. I think they look really, really good. Like I said, I have used that, um, I mean, this palette before. So I already knew what I, that I like this one and the concealer, I already knew that I like it. So um, I am gonna try to do a little check-in at, at the, a little later to check on this, um, this tinted hydrator and the mascara. I think those are the only new things that um, I haven't tried before. Everything else was already like older product that I already, like, I already knew I liked. So yeah, so that's gonna be it for now. Okay, so that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Don't forget to, uh, to comment down below any of your Wooden Well favorites and what I, I should get because they, they did come out with the SpongeBob collection, but I don't know if I should get that. Okay, so comment down below if you got it and if you did, how does it work for you? Okay, so that's going to be all. I hope you guys have enjoy your day and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.